Music in the air, Spangle Kumalo, live. Hello, Liano. Or getting a wing. Hello, Uncle T. Kitu Mate, aka Mwing, aka Liano. Kill it, Yeah, kill it, Yes, yes, yes. Welcome. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for the invite. Yes. yes. Yeah. Now, Lady Extension, you better stand up because your girl is in the house. I hope they're listening. All they, of them. They better. Yes. Which side of Naledi Extension? Kakopela Crash. No, not Crash. Maybe it's a market balanza. Okay. So we grab the ground. No, not the ground. So it's a it's a way. So Extension. So the dusty. Yes. The very dusty. It's a little red. It's a more more red. All right. That's where I'm from. Oh, there we go. That side. So Naledi Extension used to be my playground because Nick and Thomas Mufuli. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. I met Chukile. I got Thomas Mufuli. Oh. Yeah. That must be donkey years ago. Yeah. Before, what do you mean donkey years ago? Before, oh, na, before Nike and Hanalor get out. 1991, I'm going to see. Nike and Nike and Nike and Nike. That's the question. Just like a donkey years ago. Well, that, that used to be the playground. <laughs> Tell me about life then. Growing up in what house? How many people are in there? Who's yeah. raising Kitumezi? You know? Um, Kihutu Lenkhono. Yeah, uh, I man. Through and through, and best believe, Unkhonaka was bedridden. My granny was bedridden, but she managed really? to, you know, from the bed. She could, her senses were so um, immaculate that she could sense how can I kitchen or Um, she could sense <laughs> how ha maluma I can abusi or can you see? You know, I can't but I know. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, So you would say. Nah, my cousins, you know, but mom, you know how how life back then was. Yeah, right? yeah. Uh, Mama kawa zama lutu lako pati kisala longkono because kwa na wako the first born child, you yes, know, you yes. know, yeah, yeah. And then my cousins, Malume, you know, um, I think really about six, but not really sixty. Um, a very praying woman, you know. Um, kuhule zaka tu sakerekea Jehovah's Witnesses. Okay. So you know, um, Sunday you know kuhule kita zaka sakerekea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, there's no, there's no other way. Um, mama wata na wana kenu tore check of course, you know. But yeah, kuhule zile le a big family. How ba na kabusi u umelo mo tsara kona ya hae, you know. Ra ala kuhule zile le. Yes, yes. Omo ngambeto. For for room house that turns out about fourteen people. Yes, yes. Sare ba na kabura ba 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 kuma utumba ba ba kudi shogo, you know that home. And it feels so warm. Yes, always. It's amazing how we could use just little spaces, but make them feel like you know uh, you know bucks. Nursa no, no, no. You know, like yeah. Nursa Fili yeah. because the love was there you know and look at you now look at me now <laughs> <laughs> I still, I still appreciate, and I still go home. Yeah, yeah, and in Kokoha, yeah. it's still exactly the same thing. It's, it's the same that I left it. Yeah, you know. Um, but obviously, with the improvements here, there. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it still feels like home. You know, ha ha ha. Um, but how people say, "Kira na lady, ki linyalo kinyalo zo na lady, linyalo laka relin zeko hi." All right. I want to take it back there because that's where my roots are. That's why I believe for everything of my mind stems from there. That's right. So I'll always go that space. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. And then schooling. Um, Kikeni Mohato, Kikeni oh. Karabo, and then I think uh, Standard Three back then. Yeah. Mama said, you know what? Let me take you to the other side. That's right. Yes. And then I went to um, Kikeni Observatory Girls, Girls School for okay. my primary years. And then I went to Malvern High. Yeah. Yeah. And then matriculated in 1999. Okay. Yes. So you are still there in 1991. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're a product of romance. <laughs> yeah, then when when I read your bio, okay. it tells a story. And I think it's a story that most not only just entrepreneurs, but it's also a story of most South Africans, right? Okay. From call center agent mm-hmm. to losing that gig, mm-hmm. right? To you, uh, starting your own restaurant. Tell me about because I, and 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 I'll position it properly. From call center agent to mowing, they are all interspersed with failure. Sure. I'll call call center agent. So I get it, you know, when you after tertiary, the the first opportunities that come to most of us is, yeah. is a call center, yeah. right? Yeah. 
And then you go there. I was there. Um, I was with one of the banks, you know, oh, yeah, one yeah. of the three major banks, the four yeah. major banks. Yeah. And then um, that's where everything began, really, you know. And then you grow. Um, I grew into within the banking industry, mm-hmm. you know. And then I maneuvered myself around the banking industry until I got to a point where I actually dealt with numbers. So okay. I was with, a, I, I did a call center stint for like two years, okay. for two solid years, sure. right? And then, you know, you maneuver, you grow and try to find your feet and try to find what you are passionate about yes. at that point, yeah. right? The call center has, has has been an opening door for most of us, yeah. uh, you know, for most careers. Yes. And then, cool, cool, um, there. But at some point, you... I think it was my third um, bank that I was with. Yeah. And I was like, but this am is I, not... Am, am I, I the really right? going to be yes. jumping around like this? Yes. Yeah. And am I really going to be here for, yeah. for the rest of my life? Yeah. Yes. You know, at some point, you, I love numbers. I love working with numbers. I okay. love working with finances. Ah, yes, that's where... Okay. Yeah, the passion comes from. The passion from. that comes from. Okay. You know, and then um, I got to... You know, you sit down and you really look at your life and then it got to a point where I was like, you know, every morning when I wake up, I'm like, I don't want to go to work. Oh, it's a drag. Yeah, it's a drag, right? You start thinking, what can I say today not for me not to go to work? <laughs> what excuse can I make? Are you still single or now married? I'm now married um, with two kids. Yeah. Come with your responsibilities. I want, I want you to paint that picture, yeah? Come with your bills. <laughs> And you're like, but you know, Uncle T, what I realized is that if the passion is there, the yeah. money will follow. Oh, yeah. Right? Mara. Mara. He was crying. And then I'm like, okay, who cool, sit down with Habi? What do I do? Right? You mm. know, you know my struggles. You know how I feel every morning. Yeah. What? what what it it can't be life. You know? Yeah. And he's also tired because now, every now and again, he has to. Nurse me back to yeah, 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 yeah. you know motivation from, from habit to yes, psychologist. Yes, <laughs> you know, and I'm like, okay. He's like, you know what? Um, it's okay because he's always encouraged me to do what I love. Yeah, you know, he's yeah. always said, um, I could help you, but you know, you need to love what you do so mm. that you follow through it with it. You know, yeah. you, you stick it out. You, yeah. know, this guy, you don't come back to me and say, um, you did it for me. You, yeah, know, you chose yeah. this for me. It was not me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then. We both talk about it and then we agree, like, okay, let's take a gap year. A gap year? Yes. I call Wait it a, a minute. Gap. A I gap year call... is when you, from metric, trying to figure yourself Aye, out. Hi, Uncle T, it was necessary. The... And when I was a, a gap, gap year. year. In adult life. It's important though. <laughs> wow. I get about who church la murahu kung kamata. Asu chaba. Asu chaba. Kuchia palans. Kuchia power. <laughs> and that's exactly what happened. Wow. Kichiri power. I was like, okay, I'm going to. And it's, um, let me see what I can do. You know, let me try and figure my life out. I know which which direction I want to go into. I want to, to go to. Take me there now. Yes. How did you know what? You know, um, hobbies. Oh. Yes. Come on. Wahula wa pair. Mama ko kitchen in high less on the high. Ibilo kono mohopo tsang. Ma, what are we cooking tonight? Today, yeah, you know, yeah. let's peel, are we peel? Yeah. You know, and no, kiba tropa moko pu, let me do it this way. I had a thousand cookbooks going through. Oh, okay. You know. And so, this is just stuff you were buying. Yes, because I love cooking. I want to check out recipes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that type, of, that type of thing. And then I was like, okay, now I have to get into culinary because it's always been there yeah. right and the love for it has always been there yeah. i've always been the entertainer everybody around me knows Hore. um come birthdays it come times to celebrate it's me that's that's that, okay. that's, that's in the forefront right yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah, yeah, yeah. by then the qualifications were not there but the love was there the okay. passion was oh had always been there yeah, right yeah and then i'm like okay gap year this is the direction that I want to take because of the love. And also, everybody's asking, why are you not doing this professionally? Oh. Why are you not taking this seriously? Oh. You know? And I was like, okay, now is the time is right. It feels right. Yeah. It, it feels good to do it. And let's try to figure it out now. When you say a gap year, was it really 12 months? It was 2018... Yes, it was a, a little over 12 months, actually. 
because 2018 I, I left the bank yeah. and then I stayed the, I think that I left the bank in March 2018 mm. I stayed throughout the whole year trying to figure out which school am I going, going to go, go yeah. into what I'm going, what, exactly what I'm going to do culinary school culinary school right 2019 I'm still not registered yes because I'm still Are trying you just to, home? I'm I'm home, I'm raising the kids, I'm I'm a mother, I'm a wife, yeah. I'm a daughter, I'm I'm everything else. Yeah. But a culinary student. Not an employee. Not an employee. Or either. an employer. No, ne, na, <laughs> nothing. Kimoto. Kimoto. Oh, feel like I'm pempe. You feel like I'm pempe. Mona Guada, we thought I'd talk about it. Yeah, hey, yeah, spell the man, David Order. I get. Eh, I would. Nakari twenty hold la clean clean. Yeah, go look go my daughter, my friend. Hey, unfast yawa zukta di kepi. Adiazin. Bayang stress la bayana. It's important though, you know. It's important to support your your part, your other house, right? Because mm. a happy woman, a happy mom makes a happy home. Yeah. A happy wife makes a happy life, home, right? Yeah. Yes, and a happy kid mates makes a happy year kid mates. Mm -hmm. Yes, so. We need to be in this things together. These people are telling you, uh, make money. Oh, you just tuned in. Oh, by the way, this is Miss Liano, by the way. <laughs> you remember the Orbit, Bram? It's called now Liano. This is her. <laughs> <laughs> We're still talking about her journey before she started moving, moving, which gave birth to Liano. Now, mm -hmm. we're still on that journey. So, okay. welcome, by the way. So, Kitu Mezikiova Mulelor, so why don't you make money out of this thing? Right? You're home. Mm. You're not working. Mm -hmm. You're even taking a gap year. Mm. What are you taking? Mm. Not? I look. As long as I do means. Yes. What then says to you, maybe I need to educate myself around food. Did you feel you were not empowered enough to do it? Why school? You know, you, sometimes... You can cook. Sometimes it's... I think society right says you need the qualification for me to be able to take you seriously huh. right mm -hmm. sometimes society prescribes that you need to do this mm -hmm. although i know i'm damn good at it yeah you know but because i want to come and knock at a specific door the first question they'll ask is what, what qualifications, qualifications do, do you have, have? right however as lady luck would have it mm. I met two guys yeah. that were in the process. You know, you know when they say God sends the angels in the least expected times, when you least right. expect them to. Luck is the meeting point of yes. preparation and opportunity. Amen. Thank you. And that whole journey while I'm gap bearing, an opportunity comes to join a team, Yamoeng. Okay. Right? Yes. I joined two teams. Two guys. One is my partner that I'm with now. Chef Absa. Yes, Chef Absalom. We go into a, this thing. Our, okay, here's what we are, what what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Here's what we've been working on. By all means, please join us, right? Mm -hmm. And I join these two guys, and we get more and going. This is before culinary school. So, hence I'm saying, as Lady Luck would have it. <laughs> yeah. Is it Lady Luck? Or is it, I don't know, but yes. I, I say it's Lady Luck, yeah. right? Yeah. Because I'm preparing myself to go into school. Yeah. But so, something else says, no, not yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here's yeah, yeah, yeah. where you should be. Yes. Here's where you're going. Yeah. So, the journey to where you want to go. Yeah. Starts here. Starts here. Let's see if you can do it. That's right. P possibly, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's see if you can do it. And then we get into more. COVID. Ach. Yes. Restaurant. This is now 2019, late 2019. We've, we've done all the cross and checks, Uncle T. We are done. We are ready. 2019, 2020. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, You know, it's a, it's a beautiful journey. Because yeah, yeah. now there's three young... Um, people who are now starting something from the ground yes. from fresh up yeah we, we we got a shell go 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 rose bank yeah and they said do what you need to do and do what you want to do and we got it up 
We're talking about the journey. Yeah, basically turning a hobby into a business. Mm. Because that's, that's in essence what it is, right? Yes. Must you have a hobby though? Are you boring if you don't have one? I don't think so. Because a hobby is that that you do. I, 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 well, I think a hobby is that that you do when you are wanting to live or when you are not doing anything, right? Yeah, yeah, Something yeah. that you that you escape to. That's right. right? Escapism. Something, yeah. yeah. Escapism. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a hobby. Because yeah. it makes you happy. It, yeah, yeah. it empowers you, you know, yeah. that kind of thing. So I think it's important too. Right? Because we all need to to have something, as some sort of a, a home to run to, something... A, a, a deviation a, from a, yes, the norm. Yes, from the norm, yes. But there are people who are happy with their norm. They don't need a, anything to deviate There's no from. way, Uncle T. There's something that they're doing that they, do, that, are, that they are not calling it a hobby, but it is a hobby, in a way. They like being home. But when you're home, what do you do? You, are you sleeping? Chilling? Are you reading? Maybe are you watching, watching TV? TV? Yeah. Is that not a hobby? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Watching I don't know. TV. <laughs> I don't know. But I think it's an escapism. It could be. I don't know. We'll continue this conversation about your journey. Okay. Liana has already had. What's important are the first you had? The first one. She opened our doors. What? She opened our doors. She graced our stage for the first, first, first. Eh, Miss Mulate, Ralate, Hakiova. Mwang happens. Mm -hmm. It's growing. Yes. You are hosting parties. People are coming and booking your space and yes. so on. And then COVID hits. So, what actually happened? Come COVID, we're ready to trade in March, April 2020. Never then. When mm. COVID hit. Mm. Mm. Lease signed, interviews done. We are like, we are opening on the 4th of April, I think. Yeah. Sure. And then we are like, we are told, Hona Moliang from the 26th of March. I remember the first hard lockdown. So, literally, six, seven days before we are supposed to open our doors, Khatla. Yeah, quite like locked before you even open them. Everything we are ready, ready to trade. Ah, look, <laughs> look, I would say, yeah, 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 at last, March, March, April, May, June, July, we opened our, officially opened our doors in September 2020. So that's six, seven months. In of paying rent, but no business. Yes. Of the bills are piling up. Mm. I can. Mm. You, 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 you signed, <laughs> you signed <laughs> employment contracts. On a list talk. See, dudes. Mine is sitting on the shelves. Mine is sitting in the fridges. Yeah. On zona lady colour that's a let's say that you incurred Hano O Hanzo Ota. Gap hearing. Yes. Why why would this? Okay. Ari chin chin di gere and go back and try to figure this thing out but it has to happen at some point it had to we knew for it. there was no way that we are going to go back where there was no way that we are going to change our minds because right now Mudimuru feels everything that we wanted that we've asked for but the timing but the timing what's going to happen call center how do you get a nagari twenty? Because I used to work in the banking environment, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were like, I son. <laughs> Maybe. That's the CV. But yeah. at the same time, I'm like, no, there's no way I'm going to go back there. This. Where who's, I, who's keeping you sane at this time? I think family did. 
go hi yeah my husband my kids yeah, yeah, yeah. right because my husband is also an entrepreneur oh, so okay. he's been through oh, okay. such journeys okay. Okay. right okay. all right um, he has a partner. He's got a his own people, yeah. right? Because now we are on on in this journey together, yes, right? Yes. Like no man, <laughs> Yes, <laughs> because for everybody at that point, hotata <laughs> for everyone. At least you had somebody who has walked this journey. Yes. Yeah. That was yeah. able to say, hang in there. Yeah, hotata. <laughs> you know, David Ora Ele Okari Retai, but you know, yeah. you know, let's trying to yeah. put the pieces of the puzzle together at least you don't push them or clear but the puzzle is there yeah. and yeah, 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 you know yeah. and i have family i've got friends they're like mm. what are we going to do but like no guys we are not going to go back. Maybe it does the CVs because so that one of you guys have got one of one between the two has yeah. got some sort of stability, yeah. right? Provide some sort of stability yeah. for the house. Yeah. But I'm like, no. This is where you are, where you should be, and he, he will pull me through it. You pick up Mueng is picking up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then your neighbor starts saying, La Rasa. <laughs> La Rasa. Now you start talking language at the DBI. Yeah. Can I have the DBI limits? <laughs> like, I, I was walking down and I, they were all gathered there and I felt unsafe. <whistles> they were too, too loud. There were too many of them. Yeah. Then you have to work around that. You have to talk, you know, yes. get into meetings because of that to talk about such. Yeah. And here you are. You believe in what you have and what you're building. And people love it. And people love it. People Uncle endorse T. it. There's not, there's not better endorsement like people walking into your store. Look, like at that point where, where we started doing live music, I think Mueng was one of the very few yes. that did it. Yeah. Intimately so. Yes. People loved the a space. Hurry. You know, I'm able to go there, have fun, yeah. enjoy myself, have yeah. a conversation, and with somebody still singing. Yes. yes. Somebody still performing. Yes. I'm able to have dinner with my lovely wife. Yes. You know, and yes. leave there feeling good about... What a great my, evening. What a great evening I've had. But here we are. And how come you had to close doors? So, because of that, one of the reasons... That Rarasa. Now we are because remember when we when you got there we had only one neighbor, but now the precinct was growing as well. Mm-hmm. They're getting more neighbors, yeah. right? And also those neighbors, because it was going to be a a, a food and beverage space. Yes, right. Yes. And when we went into the into the into the space, we were going to open a restaurant and not a live music space. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. So the dynamics of what we. In, intended to do have slightly changed. It's yeah. still the same thing. It's still mm-hmm. a restaurant at the you know at the end of it. But the, now there's this thing that you did not. That was not part of the plan, and that was not part of the whole vision of mm-hmm. of the mm-hmm. precinct, if I may call it like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. As if an entrepreneur just sticks to one thing. Come on, like look, live music ha- helped us pay our bills. Thank you. You're not renting it. It helped. Yeah, Uncle T. Anyway, mm. and that's the journey of that's the journey of taking what you love and you put them together. Mm-hmm. And when you do, your people resonate with it. Yes, but unfortunately, the gatekeepers don't see it. Not at all. They don't. It was a constant back and forth. I now needed to ask, what are my DBI levels? What are you hearing? You know, um, I had to run to corners to find out, to, to really get to listen. Am I really making noise? Mm. Somebody's complaining, you know, but is, am I really making noise? Because now when a neighbor calls and says, Warasa, you have to do something about it. Mm-hmm. But here you are. I feel like, but mm. what are you talking about? Mm-hmm. You know, I'm, I'm, I cannot... Am I making noise or is my presence here making you uncomfortable? That is the question. All right. All right. We will fail in our duty if we don't talk about Chef Absa. (laughs) My favorite. My guy. Um, This is the man... I I remember sharing this story on air that I've had the most refreshing dessert 
ever. Mpombo tea with ice cream. Yes. Still is yes. to this day. The my ultimate favorite. I remember um throwing uh, my wife a birthday party. Yes. And the welcome drink was khemer. I was like, say what? <laughs> and they even had an infused one. I think I drank the infused one more. <laughs> I was like, hey, <laughs> but that's the thing about it. It's like it's like it's like a, a fusion. It's like a melting pot of cultures. Mm -hmm. Is that deliberate? Very deliberate, you know, because um, South Africa is such a diverse nation. Yeah, right. And we we our vision and our, 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 our strategy has always been we need to be that one space. Yeah that it's able to welcome that mm. that's able to welcome somebody from Venda, from Limbobo, yeah. right? Yeah. And when we all gather in one space, we all feel like home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has to feel like home, yeah, yeah, yeah. irrespective of where you come from, yeah. right? Yeah. So it's very deliberate. Ah, you know? okay. Yeah. Chef Absa, follow him. He, he likes curating, he also likes telling story. Uh, uh, stories even on Instagram. Uh, so follow the man. Now, Liana happens. Oh, by the way, you're turning one. We are on the 12th of November. Yay! Yay. Yay. Look, I'm so excited. Congratulations. Thank and I'm you. sure you're going to be doing something amazing. We are. We put in something. You together. already had my favorite Malay. Yes. Um, I mean, give me, give me, give me your, your dream list of people that you <sighs> wish to still you. have. Mandisi? Chankis? Yes. Oh my gosh. Has Langa Mavusa been? Yes, and he's coming back. Never. Wow. You had Langa then? <laughs> it, was, it was around February, so because you know the music resonates. Oh, Valentine's. How did I miss that? Like Damn. he serenaded the room. Damn. It was a lovely Damn. experience to have him Ooh. there, and he's coming back. Oh my word. Look out for him. So, come with me, sir. You also had to do some cutting. We have. Come on now. Look. Hey, Uncle T, how are you? I'm going to give me, give me, give me names. Give me names. Let's see. Um, I'll tell you before the end of the show. The big name? Yes. Uh oh. Could this be for the 12th of November? Baby, <laughs> I get you. You have to keep them I know, guessing, what asking. I, you know, that's why in most, like, if you look at my stories, I'll ask, who do you want to see on the stage? Oh, okay. And then I go back to the drawing board and I merge it with who do we want to see on, on our stage? Who yeah, yeah, yeah. do we want to grace our stage? Oh, so you make it a collaboration. It's a collaboration and it, because it's a community that you are catering for, it's right? Extra. That's right. Yeah. That's so, right. We always make it a two-way thing. It's not just about us. Yeah. It's also about the community that we are serving and the yeah. community that we are in, the, cu the creators themselves. Yes. You know. Did you then finally go to the culinary school? No. <laughs> <laughs> but. Yes. But. Yeah. Put me in the kitchen. All right. I'll make magic for you. So you going for the culinary school was just to say, be open to meet these two. Yes. Chef Absa being one of them. Yes. Because he's still, I mean, he's, a, I mean, he's an esteemed chef. And celebrated in this country. He right? comes with the qualifications now, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so I never, I did short courses, like, you know, about three months. I did um, with Prue Leaf, Prue Leaf in okay. Pretoria. I okay. did short courses with them, cooking, yeah. just to fine tune and just to make sure that I'm on the right track. Did they well. teach you something you don't know? Yes. Like? I can make a polenta. Polenta I can make... I didn't know about polenta then, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so... They did, they fine-tuned my skills. Now I know what to pay, what with what. Ah, I you know? see. Okay. Because then, like, pay, what's it, like, spicy key, say... Yeah, you know, and you know this spice works with, with this. this. And then that's it. But now I'm able to try different different things right so basically what you're saying is going to that school just basically opens you up a bit yes it opens my mind a bit yeah right because now i'm able to explore you know even if a recipe says this is 
the method, yeah. I'm able to tweak it and say, but maybe let me grill it instead of frying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, yeah, yeah. so yeah. let me put, let me use, it will say mixed herbs. Why don't you use oregano, for example? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, that yeah. type of thing. Yeah. And just see lemon zest versus lemon juice. So before you put something on the menu, would you test it first? I generally don't because I trust and I believe, mm. right, in mm. what we are doing, yeah. right? And mm. it's also about sharing yourself and create, being creative, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, we, so Chef will, will do it in the kitchen, go higher, but generally we like, okay, we, this is what you want to do, this is how we're going to do it, and we'll launch a meal mm -hmm. through an audience. And it will get feedback. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. We'll get, we'll launch a, 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 something and then we'll get feedback or no, it doesn't work. And then you, you, if you've been to our space a couple of times, we'll have specials, but then are no longer there because you're trying it out. Yeah. And, 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 and ah. yeah, you know. You for those, to, for those who've never been to Liano, what do you serve? Refined African cuisine. Mm. Res, re, we serve African food, but in the most amazing way. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I have faith, like I believe in our food. I always say when I get onto our stage, I say, um, I put my head on the block for our food. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Within Joburg, I think, mm -hmm. nobody cooks like us. That's right. Nobody cooks like us yeah. in Joburg. Yeah, yeah. And I can, we can do wings. <laughs> what can I do? What can I do wings? No. <laughs> I can we can do wings. Can we can do when you get there and you're thinking, I'm going to listen to Langa Mavuso, you're not expecting God. Yes. No, in that not. kind of space, no, right? No, you're not. No, you're not. Ki work on Ki work samp. A herbs infused samp. Chef would call it. Yes. Yes. Herb infused. Yes. How does it go? So, so, so yeah, we, we are, we are, I think our food is, speaks for itself. Look, you're celebrating your one year. Mm -hmm. I think it's a, it's a stamp in itself to say, okay, you're finally in the right place. Yes. Doing what you, you do. Mm -hmm. um, we can only wish you that, you know, it continues because not only is it about celebrating our heritage, culture and food, but also giving a stage to celebrate music. Mm -hmm. There are not so many places where you can go to l watch our favorite people performing live. And I would normally say, when you love an artist, you will fall deeply in love when you see them live. There's something about live music that says to you, wow, maybe this song. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Not so long ago, Vusinova performed um, at our event. And there's this song he performed. I didn't hear it the way he performed it on the CD. Mm -hmm. And I even told him, it's like, dude, I feel bad. It feels like I skipped a song that I shouldn't have skipped. Very true. Right? Very true. So what you're doing is, is very important, not only for us to go and have a great place, but it's also very important in that it gives stage, it gives prominence to our people. Thank you. And... Just keep on doing it. And thank God for you realizing that you have a hobby. Thank you, Uncle. That you can monetize. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Uncle. To you, to Chef Apsa, to Liano, keep shining. Thank you.